Um, so go ahead and move it to turn three. Oh, yeah, by the way, uh, this has this game only has ten rounds. I'm supposed to put them at the bottom. I didn't do that. All right. So now we flip them in turn order. Supply. Game of Thrones and put to the sword. So supply is it determines the num the size of the armies that we can have. So in even though you conquer more territory with more barrels, they don't count until this comes up. So everyone readjust your supply track depending on the number of barrels you have. Wow, um, I'm actually up to six. Yeah. Oh, come on. <laughs> We're not supposed to do crossing. We're going to have to bleep that out. What? Really? We're You're giving the more. editor more work now. I, I did. Well, I think, I think that was okay. Word? Yeah, I think that one's okay. I was sort of the more higher stuff. So now I'm not allowed to have huge ass armies because of. Boom. Uh. <laughs> Blackwater and Lannisport being rich. You know, they each have two barrels as well as Seaguard. And River Run helped me out. Okay. All right, so did everyone adjust their supply track? Yeah, I'm still at the same place <laughs> because I didn't do anything with barrels. I still have one barrel. Oh, that's very unfortunate. Nick, <laughs> um, how about you? I only have two barrels. Really? Jeez, you guys took the wrong territory. Um, the next one is each player collects one power token for each of the power icons collected on cards. So that's actually right, so one we had earlier, but we'll go ahead and do that again. Right. Because I still own Kingswood and Castle Stone, I get two power tokens. Two. And I have my home space and this new one, which is called the Twins. It gives me two. Oh yeah, and by the way, people, um, make sure that you hide uh, what your resource is. Cause yeah, the number of power tokens you have, that's that's something that's kept se secret. But the family cards that you've already used up, um, they are left out in the open. Um, so the third card is put to the sword. The holder of the Valerian Steel Blade chooses one of the following conditions. Um, defense orders cannot be played, or March plus one cannot be played, or no restrictions. So, Jan, what's your decision? Defense cannot be played, March plus one cannot be played, or nothing? Yeah. Mm. We need to con we need to take away some of his territory, so might as well say him, screw defense, let's just get him. I'm gonna go with March plus one cannot be, be played. Okay. Because that means I can't do a March plus one either. Beware of my manipulating powers. <laughs> Alright, and so that's the end of those cards. So once again, we put our our order icons down on the board. And because of conditions, screw with the defense uh, tokens. There. No, I thought it was... That's no, was... not what I picked. <laughs> I picked no March, March plus, one. plus one. Oh, dear God. <laughs> I ain't saying... And, and because we're not allowed to use Marjo plus one, screw it. Bleh. Again, this is the kind of stuff I want to include Be very careful. Don't do anything uh, while saying something you might regret. All right. Quite afraid. One problem with having a lot of castles is there's a lot of places to defend. Alright, um, can boats raid, uh, raid lands? Yes. Can... Okay, guess what my next strategy is. <laughs> <laughs> Am I allowed to put a token on this because I have a 
No, Nothing. you're not. Okay. But you can put Just one here, here, though. Okay. Yeah, you can only put order o um, tokens where you actually have an army, not even areas where you just have a garrison. All right. So, um, once again, all of our march orders are down, so we're going to go ahead and flip them all back over. Since I have the Messenger Raven still, I can look and decide if I'm going to change any of my orders. And I think I'm going to be fine, but instead, just in case the Wildlings attack in the future since it's after 8, if you have the Messenger Raven, you can either change one of your orders, or you can look at the top of the Wilding deck, but you can't tell anyone. Alright, so it goes back to the top. So How do you, how do you feel about that Wilding card? <laughs> so, what I can do is I can take a look at the Wilding deck... And it goes back to what it is, but I'm actually, by the rules, I'm not allowed to tell anyone else what it is. But I know, but now I can't do one of my... So raids go first, and it goes in turn order. So, Nick, um, your so, first raid? A Bar right, so a Baratheon Navy has a raid plus one. Now, regular raids can... Uh, can mess with uh, support and a consolidated powers, but they cannot mess with uh, defense. Only a, a, a raid plus star can take out a defense. And unfortunately, the crackle of fort is right there on uh, on Shipbreaker Bay, so that means aim. <laughs> you are you only have two footmen for defense. So I have a raid star as well, but I, nothing can raid against a march as much as I would like to prevent his attack of King's Landing, most likely. Um, but I'll go ahead and raid, just for good measure, his defense. And so this raid is taken off the board. And that is the end of all the raids. So Nick, you get to do your first march. Okay. From King's Landing, I stab at thee. Alright, so I have a, a footman and a little horsey. And I, they are both uh, going to kick the butts out of these two uh, footmen. So, now unfortunately because of uh, J.N., I could not use a star, a star march. So, oh. Why couldn't you use it because of JN? Because I picked no plus ones allowed. Oh, right. Okay. Yes. Thank you. So, unfortunately, this is a plus zero. Darn it keeps on slipping out of my hands. So, this is a plus a zero. So, I am attacking with a power of three, and he is defending with a power of two. And because it behooves me for Christian not to win, I will bring my support, which has two ships, plus one extra support ticker. So, yeah, there it is, just a plus star. And just to rub more salt in the wound, there's also a ship in Blackwater Bay that is also supporting. So, Nick is attacking with a three, a supporter of one that's a four, and Jan's helping him with another three. So, I have between Jack and Squat chance of winning. And the so, problem is, Jack already left town. <laughs> so, I'm putting my family card down. Hoping that these guys will be able to retreat with at least some dignity. Alright, so we flip our family cards over. I have the Hound. Okay, and I have Renly Baratheon. Now, the Hound only has a two defense cards, so that means these guys get to live. Now... As you can tell, just a little t uh, text right there. Unfortunately, you can't see it because we have to use a, a webcam. It says, if you win this combat, you may upgrade one of your participating footmen or one supporting Brethren footmen into a knight. So Nick's footman turns into a knight, and my two footmen run in defeat to Heron Hall, which is the only adjacent, well, is the adjacent empty territory. That I have, but I get to at least get my power token back. If 
Heron Hall was attacked again, these guys would automatically die. You can all if they're retreated, they cannot participate in the next fight. 